Snowy conditions caught many off guard on Monday. This is our camping spot for last night. But it's possible Michael and Lisa Silk ended up in some of the worst of it. That was the road that you just saw. After leaving a friend's house in the West Hills. This is where we camped. The couple spent 12 hours stuck here on Northwest Germantown Road near Skyline after their Prius slid off the road just after midnight Monday. In the car in the back. Luckily, we were all going 20 miles an hour. But right it just went hillside. right into a hillside. And if we had moved to the car, gotten the car out of the ditch, we couldn't go anywhere. I mean, we heard the limbs cracking over our heads and falling, and we had snowballs hitting our roof. With roads blocked by downed trees, a tow truck couldn't get to them, and neither could Portland police. They said dispatchers told them to stay put. We didn't want to get stranded outside at 33 degrees with no winter clothes. So yeah, we better stay in the car until we have to get out of the car. Before noon, looked like they'd been there overnight. They got a call from Washington County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Jesse Baker. They were surrounded by trees and in a lot of snow, but they, they were okay. They were just couldn't get out. And says, I will get to you. I will come. Well, and we were yeah. thinking, no, you will not get to us because there's <laughs> trees everywhere. But he says, nope, I'm coming. Along with a PPB officer and a deputy, Sergeant Baker made his way to them despite all the obstacles. We were going to do everything we could. Even if we had to walk down there and get them, we were going to get them. We walked up, we heard a chainsaw going, and we knew we were getting closer to someone was up there. Someone was. It might not be Officer Baker, but someone <laughs> and was a someone chainsaw. Someone was chainsaw. So that's a good thing. And as we came <laughs> around. He, he, he said, are you the Prius people? I was like, yeah, that's us. The trek out, just as challenging as the trek in. With the help of a neighbor who had a tractor, they were finally in the clear. I said, you know what, let's get a picture of this because for me, I, I want to remember that, you know, the big group of us. And all smiles on the other side. We all look very happy because I think we're, we're all happy we that got we out of there. had a successful thing happen. You know, we got, we survived. And the couple's Prius, yeah, it is still stuck on the road there tonight. But they said that the car, it was great. It kept running, meaning that it kept them warm and it hardly used any gas. The Silks told me that they're just really grateful to be home, to be safe, to have this positive outcome. But if you still need to drive in this area in Northwest, you might want to check for road closures before you head out. We will have a list of those road closures currently on KGW. Com. Just you. one word for your story tonight. Wow. Alma, thank you very much. Okay, warming shelters in